welcome to Mindful Movement for Digestion. There are a lot of reasons you may have poor digestion with hypermobility. Um, I'd say one of the more extreme versions would be gastroparesis, maybe like a bad case of that to where you're really not absorbing nutrients. Or you may have something more like me where you can kind of absorb stuff, you can digest stuff, but after you eat, your dysautonomia symptoms are so bad. And that's because after you eat, the your blood flow primarily goes where it needs to go, where it's used. So when you're working your muscles, more blood goes to the muscles. You don't ever totally lose blood in areas, but that's kind of where your body prioritizes. So especially after having a big meal, a lot of blood is gonna go to your gut to help aid with digestion and absorbing nutrients. And so it leaves maybe your extremities, maybe um, your fingers, your toes, your head. And so if we can kind of help this digestion process and get a little bit of gentle movement without um, taking the blood away from our stomach, it can help with our circulation in general. All you need is a mat and bonus if you have compression socks on um, to also help with our circulation. Um, let's get started. So it's actually a beautiful fall day here. So we even have the shorts on. Shorts with compression socks. Um, because we still need some circulation, blood to the brain. So after eating, we're gonna do a little bit of breath work. So I'm gonna actually start on my back. Just in kind of a cozy, cozy position. I'm gonna just bend. We're gonna start with some of those diaphragmatic breaths down into the pelvic floor, into the gut. So let's start with about five of those. We've got two seconds in. And two seconds out. Do that again. Two seconds in. Two seconds out. And do two seconds in. And four seconds out. Again. And four. And one. You can pick. All right. Let's do a little bit of gentle side to side. So when you're exercising after you eat, we really want it to be low impact. We don't want big spikes in adrenaline, and cortisol, and heart rate. We want gentle movements. We're kind of we're trying to stimulate and help your body with that rest and digest. Versus maybe like a high intensity exercise would actually stimulate more of that fight or flight. So we are trying to relax into the movement as much as we can while still improving circulation. Okay, you're going to take one knee, gently come up. If you have any pinching in the front of your hip, then don't do it. Or, you know, just march. Not force it. We're not overly squeezing. Movements in our hip. So, just kind of a reminder everything is kind of within that 50 to 75 percent of the range of motion that you have for now. So, you're going to cross your hip and your knee. You have the option to stay here. Or if you're feeling real crazy, you can actually lift the other left up and 
hold, a little figure four, and switch. So we need a nice figure four to stretch. Try to hold as long as you need. As long as it feels comfortable, none of these movements should be forced into if you're not comfortable. And do some progress. So deep breath in through the lower belly. Push through your feet equally. So hard that your hips come up, engaging the glutes, engaging the hamstrings, the back of the leg. We're not doing any squeezing really. We're just pushing and everything's doing what it needs to do. Maybe 10. Nice and slow for today. Lots of deep, low breaths today. to your left side. Your left side can actually, um, because of your anatomy and where your esophagus is, can help if you have a reflex um, and just kind of help with digestion in general because um, your esophagus is on the left side of your aorta, which carries your blood. All right, so we're just going to lay on this left side. You can even take a pillow if you want. And we're going to do some deep lower belly breaths. Aiming for that two second breath in, a little bit longer blowing out uh, between three and four seconds. So while you're in this position, bring your knees up just a little bit higher. We're trying to walk out that low back. Get our hands forward. You're going to pull like you're pulling a bow, bow and arrow and come back. So where people go wrong with this is by extending your shoulder instead of twisting your mid back. So we want low back stay forward. Mid back is doing the work arm is only following so it may actually be better for you instead of coming back like this really pulling it more like that bow and arrow kind of keeping that elbow in at your side and then kind of rotating so if you remember on child's pose where we're turning in thoracic spine it's the same thing but on your side you're rotating deep breath in this time through your rib cage Relax and back. Got about five of these. We're going to flip. We're going to do a little cobra if your body tolerates it. If it doesn't, then um, don't do it. Now we're 
your tummy up. Um, don't go crazy with the extension, just some, some extension. And back down. Keep your breathing. Don't lock your elbows out at the top. And I don't want your neck really looking up too much. Your neck is gonna more stay neutral. If you don't really have tolerance to this position, then what I would do, I didn't hear my mouth. <laughs> okay, what I would do is just practice here, just kind of hanging out. Um, and you can do like little, little mini extensions if your body can handle it. All right, we're gonna go all the way up to your hands and knees, kind of into a modified child's pose. Walk the legs forward. So we are on hands and knees. Let's start with your shoulders always. Don't soak down into them. You're gonna come up back down forward by doing that you're going to feel your core do what it needs to do knees relatively close elbows slightly tucked in to where the crease is forward but not locked out then one leg lengthens back make sure you're not up kind of bring that hip down keep pushing through your hands and then switch Slow and controlled. If your wrists bother you, you can hold on to something. Put a towel roll under your wrist or like the bottom of your the palm. We're not holding quite as long today. Just practicing, lengthening, not kicking. Okay, we're gonna go into a little down dog if you can tolerate it. So get those shoulders in the right position, hips come up, actively push your body away. And we're gonna pedal it out, increase circulation to our brain, get a little sciatic nerve stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lower. And do a wide stance, come down into child's pose. You can choose if you want to have your arms straight or bent, whatever's comfortable for you. And nice deep breaths down into the pelvic floor. Come back, hands and knees. So it's up, back, down, forward this time. Knees are gonna stay still, arms are gonna move. So keeping that shoulder position, not soaking in. We've got one up and the other. Especially as we're going to one side, you're going to have a tendency to sink, push your body away. And breathe. Two more on each side. And child's pose. 
size or modify. So we're gonna move to your right side just because I don't want you to feel uneven. So we're going to your right side. And we're gonna do the same thing again that we did on the left. Um, kind of that open, open book. So we're here, roll. Ooh, my back popped. Knees up enough to kind of lock out the low back. Deep breath in and out. You may go farther once you take that breath in. Bow and arrow. Kind of a gentle squeeze of the knees together. Again, to keep that low back locked out. One more. I'm gonna slowly sit up. Felt a little bit of heat built, but not a lot. Definitely drink extra water. Um, kind of keep everything moving. Um, and then really slowly get up. Um, another thing to really help with digestion with this autonomia would be not having really heavy meals. Maybe during the day while you're at work, maybe eating smaller meals if you can, making sure you're having enough electrolytes as well can be helpful um, with maybe not taking quite as much blood and shunting it to your gut. Um, so I found that a less healthy lunch for me uh, might be better, like some yogurt um, and sandwich is like my go-to, that's just for me specifically but I would still get symptomatic because there's not salt in that. So I would need to add a salt supplement. So just kind of things to think about. Um, don't want to overcomplicate it. I think it is worth working with a dietitian um, if you are able to, but gentle movement is great too. Lots of breath work to help improve that rest and digest. If you're eating a big meal and then you're going back to a really stressful environment, that's not aiding your digestion and it makes sense that you'd be really symptomatic. So even if you have a few minutes just to chill and do some of this breath work, it can go a long way. Thank you for joining. I'll see you tomorrow.